how low do you want? With the fender line, right? Huh? With the fender line? What are we doing? We're, we're making your speedster. Are we, are we actually doing this right now? Yeah. Let's go for it. Fender line or a little higher? Do you want room to, to trim later? I can't put it uh, back. How, how I, low are we I, I, I guess we have room to trim it later. Oh, okay. Oh, right. oh you're trim, just, just going to go for it. So if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. And consider subscribing if these are the kinds of projects you like to see. Now, this is something I love to see because it's, it's Jared, look, look at him. Jared, hello, uh, hi Jared. This is a 1995, my 1995, Ferrari F355 Spider. If you guys are new to this build, to this series, well, I got this car because its old owner forgot to do the maintenance. Um, you should definitely do the recall that Ferrari told you to do because then uh, fire happens and then you, you have to- You get the La Barbecue Edition. You get the La Barbecue Edition um, and then you have to sell it to your friend for uh, not a lot of money. Now, I bought this car a very long time ago. I mean, this has been like a year and a half, more than that. Before floor coatings, before all of that. Mm -hmm. I think you had that. No. With that then pack lip. Like, yeah, I, I mean. None of this. No, none, none of this. So this was like an OG to my garage. I believe I got this car before I got the garage or round about the same time. Now, another thing I had at the time that I bought this car was more hair. Uh, so my hairline has been receding for quite some time, for a few years now. And you guys have obviously noticed it because my face is on the screen. But over the last few months, my hair loss has been getting under control. And I can thank no other than today's sponsor, Keeps. Now, two out of three men will have some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. I'm 34 and you can guess which one I am. Now, the key is to make sure you do something about it while you still have hair left. Now, you don't have to go broke to avoid going bald. Keeps has revolutionized the way men are treated for hair loss. They make it easy and deliver your medication every three months so you can say goodbye to pharmacy checkout lines and weird doctor visits. Keeps treatments can take up to four to six months or more to see results, so it's important to act fast. Now, if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash Tavarish to get 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Tavarish, and you'll get 50% off your first order. Go check it out in the video description right now. Okay, let's begin. Now, this car is no longer gonna be stock. In fact, it was already involuntarily modified, but you guys, the ones that have been watching my channel, know this. Now, this is all empty. There's a lot of room for activities. There's so much room for a three-rotor Mazda rotary engine. The whole of opportunity. That's, that is correct. And also, yeah. uh, the rotary fits really well. It just needs some modification over here. Now, I didn't want to start hacking away at the body because I didn't know what I was gonna do with the body, but I think I figured it out. And I think I'm gonna tell everybody in this episode, but- And it was a good idea. I think it's a good idea. I, I definitely think it's a good idea. A great, dare say great. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right here is gonna be a 20B Mazda rotary. Uh, and then there's gonna be a sort of trophy truck transmission uh, that is sequential, a sequential manual yeah. five speed. Which means, uh, no lift shift, you just grab it and slam the gear shift and it'll grab the next gear and just go and go. What kind of, what kind of noise does it make, Jared? Uh, what, the transmission or the engine? The engine with the transmission at full tilt, what does that sound like? Dorito, 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 Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I, I can't do it with a straight face. Well, it doesn't Dorito, make, Dorito. It doesn't say Dorito, Dorito. <laughs> Dorito! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, That's what it sounds like. Yes, okay. Uh, so this is going to- Blink twice if you need help, Jared. <laughs> and this body, I was going to do a Berlinetta a hard top, but that is no longer going to be the case because I figured out that this car doesn't need to have a roof anymore. Uh, this is going to be a crazy, crazy wide body, uh, sort of a Perta, uh, sort of uh, speedster concept. And I do have a rendering that I'm gonna show you later on. But right now, this thing has been on my mind for a long time. 
And it's the fact that Ferrari glass is very expensive, right? And this glass, as you can see, has lots and lots of cracks in it. And this was cracks from the heat. Now, I want to make sure that I take this glass out and uh, never ever see it again because it just breaks my heart every time I, I look at it. So I think we can, uh, we can we can do something about this, right? I've got a solution for that. <laughs> that, that was really awkward, but it's so funny. <laughs> That's what I was going for, awkward. Awesome, okay. All right, ready? Wait, you're gonna do it right now? Why not? Are you really gonna do this right now? Let's see. Uh, how low do you want? With the fender line, right? Huh? With the fender line? What are we doing? We're, we're making your speedster. Are we, are we actually doing this right now? Yeah, let's go for it. Fender line or a little higher? Do you want room to, to trim later? I can't put it back. Uh, how how I, old are we I, I, I guess we have room to trim it later. Oh, okay. Oh, right. oh you're trim, just, trim you're just gonna go for it. Right. Oh! Oh, no! Oh! It's fine. Tough eight pillar. I'm trying also not to hurt what? the dashboard. Oh yeah, uh, God forbid the dashboard gets, gets hurt. hurt. Yeah. Woo. Halfway there. We've uh, compromised rollover structure, I think. I believe so, yes. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Your turn. Are you serious? It was no good anyway. Why not have fun? Yeah, but my poor saws all. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost there. Is that not? You still have a little metal to go. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. All right. I think Do we're it. okay. I mean, I think I think we're. I think we're. I think that's it. Is this when we put up the disclaimer we borrow from Vice Grip Garage? We are entertainers, don't do what we're doing at home. Yeah, that's... <laughs> okay, boom. So if anyone wants a uh, mint Ferrari windshield, uh, just hit me up. Uh, my email is uh, down below. Do you think your wipers work still? So now the windshield has been liberated. It is an X windshield. There's no windshield there anymore. And uh, there is still a side window right there. And we tried to roll it down and no dice because apparently there was a fire here and electricity doesn't like melted wires to have any conductivity. Yeah. So, um, and we're not breaking this because this is good glass. And Even though Jared really, really, really wanted to. Yeah, you really want to see it like that side. So I said, it is an option. Well, I don't, we, I don't, I don't care about the, uh, the, the glass as much. It's just, I don't want to break things that we, that, don't have to break. that we don't have to break. It looks pretty cool, honestly. Uh, I will have some sort of like windshield, just some like tiny, tiny windshield right here. I think that would look really cool. Just aviator glasses. Just aviator glasses? Yeah. Well, you're gonna need aviator glasses because like rocks and stuff are gonna fly. Bugs, bugs, bugs are gonna be a problem. Bugs. So. This is gonna be a helmet, helmet only uh, automobile. Let's take it out of the hole to, to show phase two. Okay, yeah, so uh, let's take it out of the hole. I, I will help you. Wow, this is really light. This is so light. How is this car leaking oil? It's leaking oil, it always leaks oil. Okay, now it's out of its hole, uh, which is 10 feet further than it has traveled in a very long time. And I wanted to show you guys the this next is when we snap. Oh, you're you're gonna show them. I was gonna say, do we just snap? We don't. We don't them? snap. I want. I want to. I want to talk about this. Okay. It's pretty important. So, <laughs> this is a custom wide body 
by a guy named, uh, I believe his name is Mitch Button. And he has a Instagram called Button Built and he makes really crazy custom Ferrari stuff. He had a really cool uh, 308 in SEMA. I believe it was a 308, might've been a 328. Uh, it was an older Ferrari, but that was a wide body car. And in the last SEMA, he had a F355 like this one. It was twin turboed, had the stock Ferrari engine, uh, but it had a lot of really cool twin turbo goodies and he had this kit now this kit is made specifically for me uh, this was a one-off custom job based on the molds that he made for his car so uh, these are not like made in a factory somewhere these are all hand laid his own molds which is really 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 cool and right now i think just to show you guys what this is going to look like we should probably offer these car these parts up to the car to see what uh you, you want it please be careful oh please be careful it's it's one of one or one of two yeah i was gonna say one of two right there's, yes there is the original well there's slight slight differences oh yeah i think right 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 around there mm -hmm. so, oh. so you know it skipped skip leg day it did skip leg day. We should get some duct tape and put everything on. Yeah. Okay, well, that is a transformation. Now, obviously this looks extremely ridiculous. This is uh, just a funny, funny looking car. Um, this is not gonna be how it's gonna look uh, finally, but this is just a mock-up of the kit and it, and it fits pretty good uh, for being such a custom made uh, kit. Now, obviously it's gonna need a lot of modification to go on the car, but it's, it's looking, what do you think? I, I think it's the right amount of ridiculous for a rotary powered sequential yes. Ferrari. For those of you who are watching this and thinking this is a abomination and this is a very ugly Ferrari, let me show you what this kit actually looks like on a Ferrari. And let me show you what this kit actually looks like when I Photoshop it with my modification, my Speedster modifications. So I was on hold for this body kit for a very long time because COVID hit and then a lot of other things happened. Uh, shipping was just really, really difficult and I had to get my friend Robert Dunn to bring these from Las Vegas, but now they're here and it looks it looks fantastic. Let's do a little walk around, shall we? Well, one. What, what do you got? I'm gonna say, I don't know what his kit looked like, but I think opening that, like instead, yeah, no, yeah, that, that, so his, that's, his that, is open, yeah. Okay, so that'll be a nice open vent, and you can see Pinaferia again. No, um, no, we're not, we're not <laughs> doing Pinaferia there. Uh, these will come up, and we'll mold that down so it's a little less. Well, yeah. So, so these are made specifically to. Uh, they're not, they're not a, a perfect fit. You have to mold them and cut them. So this is going to go into the body a little bit more. Uh, in the back, you see that there is this was open on uh the button built uh car and this is going to be open on my car as well we'll probably do a duck bill spoiler we'll probably do a big stanky chassis mount wing that's going to be insane and we're going to have flames spitting out and i'll probably get the challenge stradali grill it's, it isn't a challenge no i think it's just a challenge grill it's not a challenge stradali but the challenge grill which you can see everything in the engine bay and then i'm not sure what we're going to do about the engine bay itself maybe do a glass cover maybe have nothing at all i don't know uh but this is looking there's no <laughs> there's no windshield there's there's no windshield on this car this is this is crazy no it's perfect there's okay. nothing crazy about it okay uh, so one thing that could be crazy though, is the fact that I got a bunch of parts and I recorded a video a very long time ago about this car and I never released it. Now, we're gonna go back in time to that video so I can show you some of the parts, some of the very expensive, very cool parts that I got for this car. Maybe not as cool as all of this, but that is gonna be one of the major selling points for this project. So let's go check that out. Coming to the front of the car, you see that there's these uh, aftermarket 19 inch wheels that were period correct, but I don't like the way these look. And behind them 
are just some puny brakes. And I, when I say puny brakes, I mean for a Ferrari. These are 11.8 inch rotors with four piston calipers. And it's interesting because they're the same front and rear. The sizes are the same. I don't know why they did that, but I believe these calipers are very similar to the ones on the Murcielago. And uh, it wasn't great on that car and it definitely isn't great on this car, especially when we're doubling the power. So I bought something and that something is right here. These are aftermarket brakes and let's see what we got. So we have a pretty massive caliper here. These are Alcon RC4s, huge four piston calipers. We have the calipers, we have the hardware, and we have a stainless steel line. We have some pads and we have dun, 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 a massive, massive rotor. I mean, take a look at this. This is 14.9 inches. This is 380 millimeters versus the 11.8 inches that the stock Ferrari had. Now these rotors are fine, right? But what I didn't tell you is that this is the rotor for the rear. So the fronts, if you can believe it, are even bigger. Ta-da! Take a look at this. Some super huge six piston calipers. This is just ginormous. And you can take a look versus the McLaren brakes and it just kind of dwarfs them in comparison. So we have a big daddy caliper right there. And what we also have is big daddy rotor. This is a 16.1 inch rotor and that's gonna go on the front. This is quite possibly the most insane brakes I have ever seen. Well, short of the McLaren carbon ceramics over there, but this is just absolutely crazy. Now, I have no idea if this is gonna fit the Ferrari. It probably won't. So we're gonna have to make some custom adapters. We're gonna have to make some custom hubs. And after that, I think this is gonna be one of the kind of selling pieces of the entire build. All right, back to the present day, and I am really, really excited to get this project off the ground. Now, it's gonna be slow going a little bit because uh, that rotary, I need to have it rebuilt. Somebody uh, wanted to rev it when it was just cold. That had nothing to do with it. Somebody it's sitting empty for years is why the coolant seals are bad. Don't you put that on me. This is what Jared did. Three. And again, there's no warming up when there's no coolant. What do you mean there's no warming up when there's no coolant? There's no coolant. What you, how are you going to warm an engine up? There's no coolant. You don't have to warm it up. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> ah! Nevertheless, we do need that engine to get rebuilt. So if you know anybody that is good with rotaries, then uh, perhaps they could uh, help us out because uh, we're, 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 we're good old piston boys. Yeah. And you know, rotaries, uh, they, they make sense on paper and no, they, they don't make sense on paper no. they make no sense at all they're magic whismical 
yes. Doritos. Yes, they're, they're magic Doritos. So uh, if you have any sort of expertise on rotaries, then hit me up. Uh, all my uh, contact info is in the link in the description below. And yes, that includes Rob Dom. I really do want to work with him. I know that a lot of other people work with uh, some rotary experts. So the, the more the merrier as far as knowledge is concerned. So Marcus let's- Brothers. Yes. Uh, uh, Angel I, Angel Motorsports as well. Yeah, so uh, we'd love to work with any or all of them uh, to get this rotary going and making a lot of horsepower and making a lot of brap brap noises and uh, and pre-mixing or I pre-mixing oil. I yeah, think you have to do that. Yeah, uh, in order to get this car done. So you guys can hit me up and uh, let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right. This is all right. You better not say anything bad about this because it is going to look amazing. Just. For anyone who thinks this is wrong and we're blasphemers, we are. You could have bought it, you could have fixed it, but yeah, you didn't. But, but, you, but you didn't. So this is what happens, and it's so much better than what you would have done. Okay, so on that note, this is me reminding you guys that on cars like these, on amazing cars like these, you guys should build them better. And to do that, you need to wrench every, every day. day. Wrench every day, and your car is gonna look like this. Wait, maybe not. <laughs>